I just took a nap. Clearly he's not done. <laughs> it's giving black girl luxury. Okay, this guy from Hinge. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I am currently tonsillous. <laughs> <laughs> the bad side to prednisone is that it is pretty bad for your body if you're on it long term. I've been on and off of it for like at least two years. I had a dream last night. Last night. What is up vlog? Happy Monday. It is Monday, June 5th and it is currently 11.21 a.m. I spent all of last night and this morning cleaning my apartment because my family from New York is coming any second now. He should be calling me whenever they park. You know the family you have that's not actually related to you. They're like your unofficial family, but they're basically family. That's them. I do have biological grandparents in New York as well. These are my unbiological grandparents and their son who is like my uncle. I know the family tree isn't lining up, but just if you're, if you know, you know, you have family that's not your family, uncle that's not your uncle, you get it. So they should be here any minute, but I actually cleaned. Guys, look at my apartment right now. Like, and Lucky. <laughs> Lucky's, Lucky's waiting to go for a walk. I'm gonna walk him when I meet my family downstairs, but I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a life update. So I am actually looking at my screen because there's so much to tell you and I don't wanna forget anything. So I am currently tonsilless. Yeah, girl got her tonsils out. I did a full recovery. I'm feeling great. I love it for me. It honestly was one of the best decisions I've made. It's such a physical and mental burden off of my life. I'm so glad I got them taken out. Now. I can talk and I don't have any more sore throats and I'm just loving life, live, laugh, love. I love it. Also too with medical, I got a new med schedule and that reminds me I need to do medicine. So it's giving old lady, okay? I have a pill box. Pillbox. <laughs> the sarcoidosis and the uveitis have been sarcoidosising and uveitising and I need it to go on a higher dosage of my Humira, which reminds me I actually need to take that. It's in the fridge. It's actually this pen, like the commercial you see with people like running through the field. That's me. I've been taking this for like two years. Normally I do it every other week, but I just got prescribed to do it every single week now. And that's my uncle. Hello? Hey, Brittany. Hi. We're here. I'll be there in a second. Okay. Bye. Right, bye, bye. Okay. My family is here. I'm going to pop these pills. Um, so basically, I went down on my prednisone. If you guys saw my last video, which is so funny. I got a comment saying that somebody can't swallow pills either. And honestly, same. So I take Celcept. That's for my autoimmune. I'm on 20 milligrams of prednisone right now if anybody's wondering any any doctors out there or if you have an autoimmune disease as well it's inflammatory so that's what prednisone is for prednisone is used for a lot of different stuff though besides autoimmune um they actually prescribe prednisone to people that get their tonsils removed but since i was already on it he didn't need to do that and then my birth control and then vitamin d3 always gotta take your vitamins so let me pop these pills i'll shoot myself in the leg later i want to go get my reaction of my family coming into my apartment for the first time because they haven't seen it. They've only seen it on YouTube. They watch my YouTube videos, but they haven't seen it in person. So I want to get their reaction as well. All right, let's go. What's up you guys? I'm back. It is a little bit later. It's about 7 p.m. My dog is currently in the bed. I just took a nap for like two hours, got dressed, and clearly he's not done. <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys some apartment updates because I know I haven't done that in a minute. I don't think, at least not in real time. I think the two vlogs that you guys saw were from March and April, and it is currently June. So I was telling you guys about my medicine and one of the medicines that I've been taking on and off ever since I got diagnosed with my autoimmune stuff is prednisone. And I was talking about that earlier before my family came, but I want to talk about it for a minute because I don't think I've ever like explained it on camera in full. Basically, prednisone is a steroid and it promotes anti-inflammatory 
effects. So because I have an inflammatory disease, this basically counteracts that. Along with other medicines, I take a medicine called mycophenolate, also known as Cellcept. I take Humira, which I still haven't shot myself in the leg yet. I'm gonna do that later after I get home from the gym just because I don't wanna be like, hurting in the legs while I'm trying to do my 12 3 30 so I'm gonna do it afterwards and then just take an Epsom salt bath and be done but the good thing about prednisone is that it's really fast acting so if I have any problems with my eyes it normally resolves the issue extremely fast within like weeks days sometimes the bad side to prednisone is that it is pretty bad for your body if you're on it long term and because of my condition I've been on and off of it for like at least two years but I'm way more on top of my health game than I previously was in previous years before I got diagnosed just because you have to be it makes you more conscious of what you're doing with your body and I'm in a weird position right now my entire life I've never always been like fully satisfied with the way that I look on the outside when it comes to health and wellness and things like that obviously that plays a big part in your exterior appearance and now that I'm on prednisone the main thing that I noticed if you guys have been around for a minute I will put clips of this video up here but I privated all of my old videos just because I wanted to start a new on this channel um, I'm doing more of like lifestyle and vlog content my previous content was like strictly beauty I would do a lifestyle video here and there but it was mainly beauty and I really wanted to get out of that and kind of explore other options more of an open niche than just doing like one specific thing because as you guys can see I don't really wear makeup that much in real life so I wanted to show you guys more of my real life in daily activities but there is this video I really loved doing um, hauls that was like my thing and I'm gonna get back into that because girl y'all know my birthday's coming up it's in August and y'all know what you know what your girl be doing around the birthday time okay I got things I got to buy but I was doing a birthday haul video I think when I turned 22 and that was like the height of all of this stuff happening guys my face from the prednisone I don't know if anybody has had prednisone I had a couple subscribers tell me that they've been on prednisone before um there's a um, side effect called moon face where your face literally gets huge and you get zits right now I don't know if you can tell because my camera's pretty good at smoothing me out but I'm breaking out because of the prednisone it's not to an extreme level like it used to be but at the time of filming that video I think I was on 60 milligrams of prednisone every day for a month and if you know anything about medicine, you know that that's an extremely high dose. Everyone that I tell, even medical professionals, are like, no way. And I'm like, way. So my face was huge. Um, I had zits everywhere. It was horrible. Um, and obviously, it's not very good for the self-esteem. At the time, I was working in insurance. I was wearing a mask a lot. But I just felt big and I felt heavy. And even though um, I know that I'm going to have to be on and off this medicine for a minute, um, they're trying their best. I'm going up on my regular medication that doesn't have these types of side effects you know I'm doing everything in my power my medical professionals are doing everything in their power that does result in me not being able to lose weight as quickly if not at all um, any medical professional you go to will tell you that prednisone is like a very good um, drug at blocking your weight loss so it's not that you will necessarily gain weight which you can you can definitely gain weight on prednisone um, and I definitely have in the past I don't think I've really gained any weight now I've kind of stayed at the same weight but what I'm saying is it's pretty hard to lose weight on the medicine especially at the rate that I'm taking it at the frequency that I'm taking it with all that being said I still like to go to the gym because I just like the way that it makes me feel and it makes you feel more productive it makes you feel like lighter like I don't know if anybody can relate to that but like you just feel lighter walking around you don't feel so like sloggy is that a word sloggy what so long story short that's why I'm going to the gym I would still go anyway I need to get back into my routine I love having a routine and I keep falling out of it, but your girl's getting back into it, okay? But I wanted to give you some updates. So that was the main one, which is the medicine. That's the one that affects my life the most, but I also have some interior design. So this is the living room currently, and I actually finally bought some pictures that I'm planning on hanging on top of this. And I don't have anything in my room right now, except for this. But if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that this little like city picture of LA, I need to hang it up right here. I just need to buy the hooks for it but these right here these are the pictures that I bought for the living room aren't these so cute so these are like these like white wooden like geometric abstract art situation I found these randomly on this website called Homery or Amory I don't know how to pronounce it but I got both sets like both of those photos for like a hundred bucks I just need somebody to help me put it up and I also don't want to hang them incorrectly so I'm definitely going to need 
some advice on how to hang them on the wall because I don't want them to fall down and I don't want them to be too heavy for the wall. Um, they're relatively lightweight for being like authentic wood, but I still want to make sure that everything's good. So I haven't hung them yet. They've just been sitting there, but I'm excited that I have some wall art. But now that I've discovered that Omri situation or Homery website, I might find like an abstract little white wood piece not exactly the same as this but maybe something a little bit bigger to put on top of my bed because i really love the look of that then in my closet i reorganized it yesterday because i knew that my family was coming and i wanted to make sure that it was clean but y'all do you see up there so if you watched any christmas vlogs you know that i went a little bit crazy last winter when it came to telfar it was my first introduction to the brand i've never had anything from telfar clemens until last I think I started buying around the rainbow event. So I think that was like September of last year, I believe. And I now have six bags. <laughs> I have six Telfar bags. And I told you guys about five of them, but there's one that you don't know about. And I really want to show you. So I have this Ugg collab that I showed you guys. I remember showing you guys this. I unboxed this on camera during Christmas time in a vlog. And this is the Ugg shopper tote. I actually never used it you guys i remember telling you that i was waiting on my uggs and i finally got my mini uggs and then i just didn't have the outfit and i remember talking about this in one of my vlogs where you just feel a little bit like body conscious and you don't want to wear certain things until you look a certain way and i'm fighting for the body that i want to be comfortable in all summer long okay so by the time that it gets cold enough to wear this best believe i'm gonna be out here with this bag but i love the way this looks so much I love it. It looks so cute. Honestly, even if I never wore it, just sitting here admiring it, it's just so beautiful. So I bought this and I showed you guys, but I remember saying in that video that I wanted to get the black one and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get it, but I kept thinking about it. And then when I was sitting in here alone, bored, tonsilless, I <laughs> decided to go on the website and purchase the black bag. Now I tried to get it off of the Telfar website, but it was not available. So what I ended up doing was going on the Selfridges website. Selfridges is like a luxury store on the UK. I live in America, so I definitely, I think I paid a couple of duties to get it over here, but I got it off of the Selfridges site. I would have rather gotten it from Telfar's direct site, but the black wasn't available and I didn't want to get it from a reseller. I wanted to get it from a retailer that had Telfar because I would know it's authentic and I would know that it came from him. So I know that he would be financially benefiting from that um, rather than going through a reseller so that's why I decided to go through a retailer I, I looked on Nordstrom I don't think it was available it was only available from what I could see online on Selfridges for the retailer so I ended up getting this black guys my guilty pleasure is watching luxury videos on YouTube. Like the luxury side of YouTube is crazy. I love watching Drew Couture. There's this guy that I've been watching recently called Sergio Secret. There's another girl called Hey June. Like they just make bomb videos and I just love staring at people's bags. Like bags have always been a thing that I've been obsessed with besides makeup, but I've just never had the money to like splurge on luxury items. But I'm redefining my life this year and I'm really trying to be a luxury girly. Even like lower end contemporary luxury all the way up to like high end. It's giving black luxury okay and it's the black bag girl with the logo you see you see it i'm just gonna start storing my purses up here because i don't have a better way to store them right now and i feel like this is the best way because they're unbothered previously i had them inside of like this little cubby and i just feel like it damages them over time so i'm in love okay i'm about to head out because i don't want to go to the gym too late but i need to get a water and guys when I come back from the gym, I'm going to try one of my factor meals. I actually just tried factor for the first time last week. The delivery came on Tuesday, but you do have to pay weekly for these deliveries. So I kind of want to pause on it and just eat like regular schmegular food. But I still have a couple of meals left from last week and I want to try one of them tonight. The fusilli and ground pork tomato ragu. I already had this. It's pretty decent. Um, this is the garlic herb chicken breast, which I think I'm going to try tonight. Jalapeno beef mac and cheese. Ooh, I might try this. Jalapeno beef mac and cheese sounds way better than grilled chicken. Um, we'll see when I get home. Ooh, oh, I might, I might have to do this one. This one's broccoli and kale alfredo cava, cava tapi. I don't know what that is, but I know it's a type of pasta. Um, and it has roasted cauliflower. I think I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet because these three sound really good, but these are all my factor meals from last week. I think I ate two of them last week, but I still have some left over because I definitely don't have any groceries in here right now. I need to go grocery shopping, but that's a whole another problem inside of itself. I got my water. Let's head to the gym. But first, arguably the most important thing is the gym scent. I remember when I was doing Orange Theory, I wore this all the time last summer. And this guy was like, wow, he smelled really good when we were running on the treadmill. And that was all the confidence boost that I needed. This is coconut pineapple 
by Bath & Body Works. I don't know if they still sell it right now, but I bought two of them last summer, so we are gonna spray this for the gym set today. All right, let's get it. because I haven't taken my bath yet, but I wanted to give this to Lucky on camera for the first time because I haven't had him try it yet. I went to the store when I got my tonsils taken out and I was going there for more ice cream and I found this. And I'm about to eat my ice cream in the bath. <laughs> this, is, this is getting real personal, but listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I wanna do two things at once. I want my ice cream and I want it now. So I just have my glass of wine. I'm gonna have my half baked, but I have Lucky's ice cream. This is the cutest little doggy dessert I've ever seen. Here you go, baby. Look at that. Yum. Is that good or what? I don't think it's melted all the way, so I'm just gonna scoop it out and put it in his feeding bowl instead. <laughs> Whoop. It's, in, it's you taking it and put it on the floor anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Savage. Thank you for getting that all over my floor after I mopped this morning. Love you too. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thing ironically saying bestie i don't know why i can't take that word seriously anymore because it's just been thrown around so much it is like 11 o'clock in the morning it's tuesday i'm gonna go get my hair done today you guys i'm so excited the last hairstyle that i had were those blonde braids which i liked but i didn't like the fact that they were short for me they were short for me so i really want to get my signature long i think it's because i had those uh, faux locks when i was doing the moving vlogs and they were literally past my butt crack so that was really long for me i think i need it like down my back like at least right here i have a pretty long natural hair as you guys can see i definitely needed to tangle this which is why i'm sitting in my bathroom it's one of the worst adult activities that i have to do i hate detangling my hair um, so much so to the point where I avoid it at all costs and the only reason why I'm doing it right now is because I need to because she's going to braid my hair and she it has to get detangled. I just finished washing it. I did a curly hair routine when I was at my dad's house a couple of months ago but just in case you missed it I really don't do much and I don't know if you should be following what I'm doing. Some people ask me about it just because of the quickness that my hair grows and honestly I don't know I don't know if it's genetic. I honestly just think it's because I keep getting protective styles. I have constantly been getting protective styles and I don't 
want to discredit the products that I'm using, but I am aware that my hair does grow rapidly fast. I'm talking four weeks and I have to take the protective style out. I love it because I want my hair to grow. That's the goal. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, I just spent all this money and now I have to take my braids out. The least I'll get is four weeks. So that's what we're banking on today. So I ended up using this and this in the shower. This is the Carol's Daughter Coco Creme um, Curl Quenching Shampoo. I used it in the beginning when I did my big chop and then it stopped working for my hair and then it started working for my hair again so I started using this you can tell when something stops working for your hair when it leaves your hair dry instead of soft and that was what was happening to me um, but I tried it again one day I guess my curl pattern changed I don't really know but it works now and it's really great and it provides a lot of moisture for my curls so that's what I use and then I also use 3 minute miracle moist deep conditioner um, I don't know what the logistics of this are all I know is it's been working for me the entire time that I've been doing my curly hair journey I'm gonna use these these are a lifesaver every single time I do my hair I literally I'm not even exaggerating I don't think I can detangle my hair without this this is the Aussie Miracle Curls leave-in detangling milk love her we're gonna grind hopefully I'm done within the hour and I know that sounds ridiculous but if you have curly hair you understand that that's a very short amount of time to detangle this mess so let's get into it Show me what you made of You know what I came for I see the real you You should let her out that cage more I've been playing it cool but couldn't lie to you You know what I'm waiting on Waiting on Waiting on I don't wanna wait no more No more, yeah More down for the count when you needed it, breathe it, just got too hot on your mental. This is the aftermath. We have hair literally everywhere, but I did it before 12 o'clock, you guys. All right, let me get ready and get dressed. All right, this is the fit for today. I haven't worn this jersey since I turned 23, actually. I wore this on my birthday last year. I think I'm gonna stop and get a refresher and head to the hair salon. Okay, this guy from Hinge. <laughs> They're oh, un no, are only, no. uh, listen, they should be called Unhinged because the people on there are Unhinged. They just be saying and doing the weirdest shit. So what happened was- Yeah, better what I'm having. Yeah. Nah, nah, you got better when you met me, admit it. You said you done trusting but you did it. Move low key, but I really know you with it. Why you not shalom when you really got them digits? I'm obsessed. I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best. I'm obsessed. I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best. Look, how you get so good at being modest, girl, be honest You said you done trusting these niggas, made yourself a promise I hate to make you take it back, I have been getting paid for rap Ain't talking about the drums, when I tell you I can make it clap Had to make you wait for that, you intrigued with conversation You be moving dolo, I'm intrigued and I'm in admiration I can gas you up, but I don't think you need the validation Still you looking good, natural, without no operation Fuck my old bitch, tell you. Your own. I'm back home you guys. I got my little Synthetica. It's giving mermaid little fantasy over here. I got goddess braids with curls at the end. I ended up picking up a pizza because I didn't feel like cooking to be honest and I didn't feel like having any factor meals today. And honestly, I'm probably just gonna sit down with this pizza and a glass of wine. But I'm so glad I got my hair done today. I love getting my hair done by her. She's the best and we always have the best conversations. We're actually talking about what I'm gonna do for my hair for my birthday because that's the next time I have an appointment with her. I honestly don't even know. Normally I do like protective styles with her, but I'm thinking of doing like a quick little style for my birthday. Maybe a pony, maybe a fishtail. I don't know, I've never done anything like that. But that was my day today. I just got my hair braided. She's really, really quick. It only took like a couple hours. Um, I think like five, five hours for this. You guys can see my laundry right there. I had some laundry still in the dryer from when my family came over yesterday. So I need to put that away. Um, but other than that, that's it for today. Today was a pretty chill day. Just got my hair done and I'm just gonna sit down and relax. What's up you guys? It is a couple of days later. It's actually the next week on Monday. I ended up not working out at the end 
of last week. The sarcoidosis was sarcoidosising and I was having like body aches towards the end of the week so I just decided it was not a good idea. I just left the gym alone and rested and I'm glad I did because I'm still aching a little bit. I'm getting over it. I've been using like the heating pad, aspirin cream, the whole nine yards and I think it has to do with this change in medicine so hopefully my body gets it together soon because I need to get my eyes in the gym. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.